Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we will compare HTML to PDF conversion with Iron PDF and Quest PDF. So today we'll be comparing the Iron PDF to Quest PDF. I'm using Visual Studio 2022 and to begin I've installed the latest version of Iron PDF to generate PDF files. You can install it as well using the NuGet package manager. So first let's take a look at the code. We start by initiating the Chrome PDF Renderer, which is a class that lets us render HTML content as a PDF file. Then we set the paper size to A2, uh, but you can choose any size that you like. Let's use the render URL as PDF method to generate a PDF from a URL. So in this case, we're using the Iron PDF website. We can then save the PDF file to our local machine using the save as method. Now let's try uh, to generate a PDF file from an HTML string using the render HTML as PDF method. And this allows us to create a PDF directly from HTML code. And we can again save this file using the save as method. And lastly, let's generate a PDF from an existing HTML file using the render HTML file as PDF method. In this case, the file is located in the system. And again, we'll save the PDF file using the save as method. So let's go ahead and run the project and we'll wait for the output. So the processing is completed. So let's have a look at the generated files so we can see the results for ourselves. So you can see that all three files are generated here. Let's first look at the output generated from the URL. All right, so not only does it maintain the layout and format of the original web page, but it also preserves all the images, fonts, and other elements that make your web page look beautiful. So now let's have a look at Quest PDF. I'll be using Visual Studio 2022 and the latest version of Quest PDF to generate PDF files. I've installed it already using the NuGet package manager. So let's go ahead and see the code. In this code, we start by importing the necessary namespaces for Quest PDF. We then create a PDF document using the create method from the document class. This allows us to specify the page layout, size, margins, and other properties of our PDF document. So first we create a PDF from HTML content. We set the page size to A4 and specify a margin of two centimeters. We also set the color to white and the default text style to a font size of 20. And then finally we add a column with a single text item that says this is content. Next, we create a second PDF that contains an image. We specify a single page with a column that contains a single image. The image is generated using the placeholders image method. And that creates a placeholder image with the width and height of 100 pixels. So now let's go ahead and run the project and wait for the output. All right, process is complete. Let's see the output files. So finally, we generate the PDF files using the generate PDF method and specify the names and output files. So let's see the output. This is the generated by Quest PDF. Comparing to Iron PDF, we can see that Iron PDF has produced uh, much better results. Additionally, we've seen that Iron PDF's code is efficient, lightweight, and easy to understand. On the other hand, Quest PDF code is a little bit heavier and so perhaps not as quite as easy to understand. So my personal preference is Iron PDF as it's very beginner friendly and has lots of documentation and many useful features. All right, I hope this comparison video was helpful. And as always, if you need any help, our support team is standing by ready to assist.